That's Emperor Radigat, said Radigat angrily. And once again, Tranza, you have made me very angry. Radigat grabbed Tranza and gave him a severe punch. Darn you, Radigat. I'll really overthrow you, said Tranza. Interesting. Members from a lost galaxy come here to cause trouble, isn't it? said Drakina. Oh, how I hated those lost galaxy rangers. You're not the only one fighting in a lost galaxy. I was too, said Bladoran. Silence! We must destroy that ship at all costs, said Radigan. His fists crumpled. All right, Tranza, you can go with Long, Trakina, Bladoran, and Mesigog to stop them all. Yes, Emperor, said the four assigned troops, who each had their own agenda to take over. A welcoming committee was arranged, namely Sotoro, Masumi, Hoji, Sakura, and Jasmine. Well, team, I guess we can say attack if the enemy does arrive, said Satoru. The United Alliance of Evil never gives up at all, do they, said Sakura. Then we must be always ready to fight, said Hoji with a smirk. Jasmine stood quiet, thinking about her next course of action. Jason and Trini were one of the scouts to ensure the safe arrival of the new Super Sentai. They are assigned somewhere else. I can't believe, despite the dangers, I'm so excited to see the new group, said Trini, preparing her camera. Danger always does excite you. Remember, Trini, we're not young rangers anymore, said Jason, remembering her free spirit and tough determination. Just then, Trini spotted the ship that they were told to hunt. She got her smaller camera ready to take a photo of the ship. Marvelous, that ship is really on air, said Trini, as he drew her camera. Now it's time to contact the others. The new Super Sentai had entered into Earth's atmosphere, still hoping to find a space station as they had not heard of it. They landed on the frequently war-ravaged planet. I have to admit, this planet is indeed more beautiful than any other planet. It's like a rare jewel. I had to think we had to leave it when the war was over, said Luca. Too bad it's always war-ravaged, said Aim. And our time travel experience does show two major world wars. There's no doubt about that, said Captain Marvelous. I have to admit, sadly, humans can be destructive. They could wipe themselves out like other planets did. For instance, the Biostar. That was indeed sad and tragic, said Doc. They fought each other for that power until they destroyed each other. The others are just no different. Honestly, all these wars can drive me nuts. Not only you, we're all been driven nuts by it, said Aim. The Gokaijus were welcomed by Satoru, Inu Masumi, Hoji, Jasmine, and Sakura. So you must be one of the super sentai it seems on Earth, said Captain Marvelous. Oh, we're just a scrambled team, said Satoru. Both teams began to introduce each other. However, at the most unfortunate circumstances, Trenza was leading Trakina, Bladeron, and Mezagog to attack the pirates. We can't allow you anywhere else now, said Trenza. Hello, Sakura. Nice to see you back there, said Trakina. Oh, I hate that bug of a woman, said Sakura, referring to Trakina. You go kites are going to get destroyed before you join the Alliance, said Tranza. Hell, oh, you must be bluffing, said Captain Marvelous. We're not bluffing at all, said Tranza, who called for Griams, Stingers, Barma, and BBDs to attack. This isn't good. We've got company. Attack, said Satoru, who did his finger snap command as he always did. The villains decided to attack the heroes. The go kites did their morphing call. However, their lack of training for some time what slowed them down for now. Meanwhile, the new sky base, Cole was in the training room focusing on his fists and pumping iron. He was getting ready to become Cole the Conqueror. Then a huge quake hit the new sky base. What's going on? It's coming from the gym, said Supreme Commander Ryu. We have to investigate it, said Deputy Commander Guy Yuki. I'm with you, said Billy, who was accompanied by Ranu. Both of them rushed to the gym to discover Cole was bathed in some weird light. He was releasing an aura like never before. Cole, what's wrong with you? Are you all right? We may need to get you to a medic, said Billy. As they were trying to aid Cole, he stood with a fierce, determined aura. Wow, what an effect, said Ranu, as she fell down from the red light. She bumped into Billy, causing both of them to blush. Oh, sorry about that, said Billy, grinning. That's okay, said Ranu. I am Cole, the Red Conqueror, said Cole. I was chosen by Aka Red to be his partner. 
Akared then spoke through Cole, saying, I have chosen Cole to be this person who will be the source of power and support in these times of need. Although many of the warriors, both your world and his, both possess the heart, but he has both his strength and his heart. He will aid us in our most desperate hour of need. His power is not his alone. You are also involved. He is now your ultimate ally. Cole was suddenly bathed in an aura of red light, ready to do his job. He disappeared into thin air. Akared was now going to test his partner. Where's he gone to? said Deputy Commander Gayuki. I guess to the battle, said Supreme Commander Ryu. Cole found himself flying across Tokyo. Now, Cole, this is the chance to prove your strength, said Akared. Cole began to do some bare fist action. He removed his blouse to beat up some of the Griams and Stingers. Now, Cole, it is time to enter the battle, said Akared. Roger, said Cole. He then warped into the battle scene where the Gokaijers got battle-weary. Trakina was about to strike Boken Pink when Cole arrived. What the? said Trakina, who suddenly encountered by Cole. Oh, isn't that the naked man from Tokyo? Looks like you're just here for laughs, aren't you? But Cole stood determined, ready to show his combat abilities. Cole? said Boken Pink. Cole, what are you doing here? asked Boken Red. I'm here to assist you people. Me and Aka Red have this power together. But you don't have any powers, said Deka Yellow. Wait, I think he's about to release his power if it's ever true, said Boken Pink. I think he has become Aka Red himself. What if he said what was true? Looks like we've got a romance budding here, said Deka Yellow in her head. But she tried to keep her comments to herself as it was time for battle. Aka Red came out of Cole for a while, shocking the Gokaijers. A henshin device was now available as it worn on Cole's left wrist, called the Red Summoner. Aka Red? said Gokai Red in shock. What's he doing inside a human body now? Oh yes, it is me, and I have now chosen this human being as my partner as both realms. From this point on, I am with him, said Aka Red, as he entered the Red Summoner. Cole, now at this point, you and I are one. All right, it's time for my morphing sequence. Red Conqueror, said Cole. In an instant, Cole was lifted into the air. In a flash, the faces of the 34 Red Rangers started to show up from Aka Ranger to Gose Red, and the new form of the Red Conqueror came in. Instead of spandex, this was a new version of Aka Red that had a metallic suit and a black visor with a muscular shape. Wow, that's awesome, said Gokai Green as he commented on Cole's transformation. The Red Conqueror stood in full shape with an explosion of red smoke at his back and a fiery aura. He gave them more room to fight by beating up the four generals sent against him. He transformed into Ginga Red, ready to attack Trakina. This is outrageous, said Trakina. Hey, Trakina, so you think I'm just some naked guy from Tokyo? Well, take this, said Red Conqueror in Ginga Red form as he hurt Trakina by fire. His second transformation was into Gosei Red, ready to attack Blade Oran with his sword. What? He can become Gosei Red? Fallen Angel Blade Oran. Now face the power of Gosei Red, said Red Conqueror in his Gosei Red form, slashing through Blade Oran. His third transformation was into Abare Red. What the? The Red Dino Thunder Ranger, or Abare Red? Whatever, said Mezagog, ready to attack. However, Red Conqueror in Abare Red form went super for a while to beat up Mezagog. Well, I guess the Supreme Commander won't mind me becoming him, said Red Conqueror, as he used the powers of Red Hawk, attacking Tranza, slashing him relentlessly. He's too powerful, said Tranza. I think we better regroup, said Trakina. He's too powerful. Retreat! Retreat! said Tranza. I guess you bad guys never give up, said Red Conqueror. Where there is evil, there will be Super Sentai and Power Rangers. The battle isn't over yet. The questers are coming in to challenge you people, said Tranza as they disappeared. Just as they were speaking, the questers launched a bird-like robot called Garduron into battle. We'll just have to finish the job that they can't. We're destroying the Gokai Galleon, said Guy. We need to get to the Gokai Galleon, aid Gokai Red. What's that? Looks like they're going to fight, said Bokehead Red. I think we have to help them. We better not intervene just yet, said Deca Blue. We still have to clear the areas for any more UAOE troops that are left lingering. Red Conqueror can be seen wiping out the troops that failed to retreat, turning into Decker Red, shooting at the remaining troopers. Piece of cake, said Red Conqueror, as he revealed his powers and then reverted back to his default form. Back at the new sky base. Now there are more Super Sentai forces out there. I hope the Dimensions are watching this battle, said Deputy Commander Gaiyuki. 
will be paying our respects soon, said Supreme Commander Ryu. They, after all, fought to give their lives to save the innocent. Back at the battle, the Gokaijus were unleashing their robot, Gokai Robo, to attack Gardruan in a massive aerial battle. These guys are tough. It's really a new challenge for us, said Gokai Red. We haven't fought here on Earth for a long time, but we do have to face it. We're facing against a collotation of several fo eight horses once more, said Gokai Yellow. We're literally facing the hugest army of evil yet after the war against time that allowed us to temporarily replicate the powers of others. The Gokaijus, however, were suddenly outran by Gardruan. The Gokai Robo wasn't having any luck. Their reflexes were slowed down by such incredible speed. They're in trouble. I think they need help, said Boken Red. I know what to do. Boken Red, can you launch the Gogo Jet for me? asked Red the Conqueror. What for? asked Boken Red skeptically. Just trust me, I know what I'm doing, said Red Conqueror. Aka Red's instincts are in me. If you can trust him in your team of battles, you can trust me as well. Cole, it's time for you to use the Sword of Justice. It can store enough energy and your body will be invincible for the meantime. Use it, said Aka Red. I get you, Aka Red, said Red Conqueror as he positioned the sword. Now it is time to use the Firebird attack. It managed to cut through Garjuan without getting a scratch. Wow, that's awesome, said Boken Red in amazement. Now the Gokaijus will be able to finish this battle, said Red Conqueror. The Gokaijus got their edge. Well, it's time to finish the job, said Gokai Red. Okay, get the ring! We'll be back, said the questers, who teleported away. Well, that was a great battle, said Gokai Red. In fact, it's nice to see battle again and further this, explore this planet further. On the other hand, Red Conqueror reverted back to Cole. Aka Red then came out of him. Good job, Cole. I knew I could trust you. Thanks, said Cole, but I'm thankful you took me to a battle fully clothed. No, you were fully prepared this time, said Aka Red. If you excuse me, it's time for more training. Maybe I should give him more pop-ups to train his spirit harder, said Aka Red, who then, po then popped into nowhere. Cole finally wore his extra shirt on. The heroes finally entered into the base. Director Aya was saluting the Gokaijus, who were with the welcoming committees. Welcome to the Alliance. Not a bet. Not bad for a first day in our planet. You people will be great help to us sooner or later with alien technology I am not yet aware of, said Director Aya Agri. We didn't get so much of the battle, though, said Captain Marvelous. We had help from this mysterious young man, Cole, with his new powers. Oh, that was nothing. Teamwork is all that makes me stronger. Without Akared, I'm just another muscle boy, said Cole. I'm glad to join in, you guys. I can't believe that I have awesome power. I believe everything happens for a reason, Cole, especially why Aka Red chose you, said Satoru. And Cole, I really like your battle right now, said Hoka. That was nothing, said Cole. Sakura wanted to express her thanks to Cole. Cole usual went red, being near the women he likes. Cole, thanks for shielding me from Trakini's attack. That was quite noble of you, said Sakura with a smile. No problem. I just can't help but want to help a lady like you and to return the favor for what you did to me. So kind and so pretty. Your smile brightens up my day. Oh, I have to go, said Cole shyly. Thanks for the compliment, said Sakura, blushing. You're pretty good yourself, aside from your good looks. You really get along with us so well. Sakura, I wish you can be my girlfriend. I've seen you in my dreams. I wonder if you are the one for me, said Cole to himself. Sotoro with a hint of jealousy in him as Cole was getting close to Sakura. He was, however, too timid to reveal his true feelings for Sakura, which he believed was just too kindergarten. On the other hand, Hoka was trying some tricks so she could find to seduce Cole. Looks like love is in the air. Go for her, Cole. You deserve her, said Jasmine, who suddenly met by Billy and Ranu, who wanted to meet the Gokaijers. Oh, getting lovey-dovey, are we? Oh, how I love the smell of romance with you two around Billy and Ranu, said Jasmine. No, we are not, said Billy and Ranu together. Their simultaneous reactions caused Jasmine to fall down, only to be caught by Tetsu, who happened to be there too, to catch her. Tetsu, thanks a lot for being there for me, said Jasmine. No problem, said Tetsu. It's time for our next date. Sure thing, Tetsu, said Jasmine. Trini then popped out with her camera, taking the Gokaijers' pictures, with Jason having a slightly frustrated face. The Gokaijers then posed to get a better picture. On the other hand, feelings of jealousy were arousing Satoru, who was just too shy to admit his true feelings to Sakura, and the other, Hoka, who was falling for coal. Christ, this might actually be the worst chapter yet. If you're expecting next week's chapter, where our heroes meet Taiyo Sentai Sun Vulcan, to be any better, you'd be wrong.